Okay, so we always tell you what we're up to on Facebook. We thought today we'd show you what we're up to, and we're getting ready for our story that's going to air Monday night. This is our edit suite. There's Anna, who's putting our story together, one of our producer photographers. And what we're wanting to find out is why did it take 30 minutes for paramedics to arrive uh, at a scene where a man had just been beaten up by several other people, even though there were four 911 calls all from the same person. We talked to Logan Foster. She's a 17-year-old. She was downtown. Uh, there's a picture of Logan right there. She sees this man getting beaten up, so she calls 911. She waits about 10 minutes, calls again because no help arrives, calls a third time, even calls a fourth time, and only then did 911 dispatchers actually dispatch the paramedics to go and help this man. So we sat down with Carl Simpson. He's the head of uh, Denver's 911. There's a picture of Carl right there. Very nice guy, but he admits that they didn't do things right, that their uh, 911 operators should have gotten uh, paramedics sent out the door much faster. And so he's going to tell us what changes he's made and why uh, this whole thing happened here. That'll be on 9 News at 9 and 9 News at 10. It's going to take us a little bit of time, though. We're going to finish uh, the rest of today and on Monday putting the story together. Uh, and let's also show you the most intriguing part of this whole thing, which is this, um, what is it, Anna, a half-eaten burrito? Was it yummy? Yeah. Gross. <laughs> anyway, so our story starts out. You can kind of get a preview right there. My friend got passes to see Vampire Stuff for free. Anyway, we're going to put the rest of the story together, and we hope you'll watch. And they actually ended up 